okay. Tonight, gotta sharpen some knives. Kind of behind. I have a bunch of knives that have been in my studio waiting to be sharpened and I haven't gotten to them. So um, I apologize if I look this direction a bunch. That's where I have my computer. So I'll be glancing over there from time to time. I need to get a little monitor doodly to be over by that camera so I can turn and look a little bit more. So let's get to it. I'm just, uh, we're trying out a new setup today. We're using a boom arm camera. And uh, hopefully we can see everything okay. I might zoom in just a little bit here. Get a couple of these things out. I've been previously doing this down in my other studio and I'm really excited to have this up here because then it's a lot easier to keep everything clean. If I need any additional tools, I've got them around. Should be better all around. I don't know if we have all the same camera angles right now as we did before. I can try and get some more involved. But you know, what do you do, right? Let's, uh, we're going to crop. Well, no, that should be fine. Whatever. So one thing I have picked up since our last sharpening stream is a new Sharpie. I found uh, just a massive, massive, massive Sharpie to use here for this. And uh, this is going to be the dedicated sharpening Sharpie that's going to allow me to mark on the blade where the current edge sits. So when I try to, go right there. Um, so when I try and like mark on an edge to show case where it is, that when I grind on it with my sharpening jig here, I can see what has been ground away and can identify like, okay, like I'm too shallow or too not shallow, obtuse. So, should be good. This out of the way. You also have my, over on this side, we have our flattening stone here. So I don't know if I'm going to use this much today, but if I need to, it looks like my Super 77 is coming undone here. So it's not as stuck down to this tile as much, but um, if I need to, I can flatten stuff on that. But for now, we'll stick with this. Okay. Kind of wishing I had like one more camera angle for y'all to see this. Um, how long will it take me to set that up? We're just gonna roll with it for today. No time, there's no time for that. I already got my hand. All full of stuff. This is pretty messy. This is just from uh, grinding against this here bit here. This is where this slides in. And this has been going back and forth and back and forth. And so it's like slowly becoming looser. So I need to get some grease on that. Otherwise this is gonna be like really wobbly pretty soon, which is no, no bueno. So let's uh, Take off our sharpening scale. Here we have from the most coarse to the least coarse. Sorry, yep. This is the most fine over here. This is the most coarse. So I've been looking around on the internet as you do. And apparently people soak these in water instead of doing oil. So I might be doing this entirely wrong and have ruined my scales, but you know, it's kind of too late, I guess. Watch, I'm definitely going to get this stuff on my face. So first knife that we're going to do today, uh, this is our 
cheap Costco kitchen knife that um, my wife has been asking, hey, where'd that kitchen knife go? There are definitely some nicks in here. I don't have the microscope down here yet, but I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of tell there's like a little bit of some weird nicks and stuff in there. But this is the first one we're gonna do. Let's loosen up the jig. It's been a while since I've used this jig actually. I'm starting to think that the mineral oil in general might have been a mistake. But you know, you live and you learn. I can probably fix everything up and switch to water if I switch scales. Make sure that's nice and tight. Cool, can't move. And then on the sharpening jig, I'm going to move it down from, it's at 30 degrees right now for a hunting knife. I'm going to throw it down, basically down to like, right there, let me go to that mark. But I got to see if this will even work. Because I remember having some trouble last time when my knife was getting too shallow. I was having trouble with it rubbing against this here. So. Let's just put this in here and see. So that's that side. Let's try the other side. Cool. So I could probably even go, you know, when I'm looking at this, it'll be good to use the Sharpie for this for sure, because um, this almost looks like it's more shallow than it was, which isn't a bad thing. So let's stick with that, because like kitchen knife should be pretty shallow anyway. Ruby. So I'm going to put on my try not to cut myself glove. Which hand should it be on? This hand. Okay. For mineral oil. Now I should probably have this on some sort of surface that won't get my table all mucky. I don't know if we're going to do that, though. I think we might just clean the table later. This is varnished pretty well. Should come off. It is a nice desktop, though. Um, what do I have within arm's reach? Let's switch cameras here for a minute. While we figure this out.
All right. Okay, keep going. Gosh, this is so much more relaxed than doing this down in the studio, the video studio, because the video studio is just like so damn cold. So this isn't much protection for my table, but it'll be, it'll work. As long as I'm careful about my mineral oilage. I'd be interested to see, though, in a short time, if I get some more sharpening stones to do the soak method and see how that works. I actually have a couple over there that I haven't used yet. So I'll soak those in some water next time and see how they work. It's got to scooch a little closer. So I'm just like full, fully just reprofiling this thing. It was a little bit more steep last time, a sharper angle, but I'm going to go with a finer angle because this is a kitchen one. Used for a little bit more delicate work. So I'm not like trying to cut bone with it or anything like that. So this is 180 grit. What I'm really going to look for is this, is just going to have all of the nicks out of here. There were a couple of nicks on the uh, blade. I want to get rid of those. Hope you all can see enough of what I'm going to move my I'm going to touch my laptop with some greasy fingers first off. I'm going to move me my face up here. And you can see a little bit more of what's going on. I'm having a great time. So excited to do this again. I've totally neglected the new jig that I have. So I'm quite pleased to be able to get at it again. I'm going to flip the blade. This music is perfect. We got the other side. We're going to start to profile this too. So this is a little problematic. There's some flex to the blade itself that could affect the angle it was at inconsistently. Which is not ideal. All right, it's looking pretty good.
Man, this stone is coarse. Good lord. This is perfect. I'm really enjoying it. All right, yeah, that's consistent. No more nicks in the blade. Got some of this goop off. Right. On to the next stone. We're going from 180 to, oh goodness, that's not 180. That's why it was so rough, wasn't it? What are you? Not even labeled. More than 180. Goodness gracious. A little bit of mineral oil here. This is, of course, way too much mineral oil. Just like flowing off of the stone. Not the best scenario. This is definitely my favorite style of kitchen I use. I kind of just don't like chef knives as much. I know that's probably uh, some sort of crime, but I like these this style quite a bit more. Moving up to 400. Definitely some grit in here. I'm actually going to wipe this off and apply a little bit more oil. There's some like leftover grit on here, maybe from being packaged together. I'm not sure.
I just love going from grit to grit. Having hair get soft, more silken sounding every time I go up one. It just sounds more and more like silk, and by the time we get to the end, it just sounds so nice. You know what we might do today could be a lot of fun is we could maybe make a leather strap out of one of these things or maybe make just a fresh one now they're converting one of these old scales here into it or doing something. Maybe it makes them out of some plastic that I have handy. There's loads of leather in this craft studio that I could use for it. Lots of nice scrap. this shallow enough? I don't even know if it is. Too late to really check now. I'm just gonna finish sharpening it and keep going. Done with that grit. On to, I believe, 800. Yep. I forgot to do is I haven't wiped off the existing grit for a little while. We should do that. Don't want to mix grits. So if we don't wipe it down and there's like a little grain of 400 grit in there, then it could ruin my 800 pass or maybe make it less valid, I guess. I don't know. I'm really messing up in the studio right now. There's uh, something I thought I would never do. There's two different color temperatures of lights in here. Drives me bonkers. Wow, which way do you go? Gotta swap out some of these lights. Make them to all be either soft white or daylight white. I've been really digging daylight white lately. I think it's probably because it's so dark and I never go outside. Probably isn't the best for the old mental health, but you know, we do.
I'm gonna have to be more and more careful as I wipe this down because it's getting sharper and sharper. So definitely do that wipe down with my gloved hand. Moving on up to a, this should be a thousand, 1500, 1500 grit. Jump from 800 to 1500 is kind of a lot. I don't know if it's really the greatest, but let's see. Oh my God, it's huge. Look at that. That's amazing. So this needs to be less oily to stick. So I'm putting some Sharpie on the edge so that I can see where it has ground properly. It's incredibly hard to see. Good Lord. It's wearing away nice and even. Hey, you set astray. Hey, thank you for stopping by. I know it's like hella late where you are. So thanks for saying hello. I decided that I needed to sharpen some of these knives for the kitchen tonight instead of doing leather work. Probably a little less exciting, but good to do all the same. I hope you have a nice night and had a, you were streaming a lot today. You had a long day. Hope it was a nice one. One forty AM. Yeah, that's light enough, you know. I know. I was like, that counter says that she's been streaming for eight hours now. A little while ago. That's a long time. Did you beat the game? Let's switch up to 2000 grit. Wipe this away with my gloved hand so I don't slice my hand open. I think my first aid kit is not on this floor. I don't have to go downstairs. I did get myself. Just getting rid of any stray particles from the old stones that are more coarse. Got to go. I'm trying to get some sleep, wake up a lot of energy and get pumped, start playing FF9 stream. I love FF9. Final Fantasy IX is one of my favorites. That's fun. I don't know how much I'll be able to catch tomorrow, but I will definitely be stopping by, especially if you're on all day again. I hope you have a nice sleep. 
Oh, wow. That sounds exhausting. I, I will heed that recommendation. Do not do that. That's fun. Good luck with FF9 tomorrow. That'll be really cool. I'll try to catch it. Yeah, I will I will for sure stop by and say hello. I don't know how much I can watch, but I will say hello. See how Zidane and and Dagger are doing. I believe it. Have you played FF9 before? Well, you can answer that tomorrow. I'll, I'll ask you about that tomorrow. Head on to sleep if you need. See you. Hope I see a hi from you tomorrow, then hopefully you will have an awesome stream. Thanks. I'm having a good time either way. Dream or no? Getting something done that needs to get done always makes me happy. Okay, I will. A little more time on this side. Got what I had to do there. Eh. Would I? I probably would be. I'm kind of persnickety about knives. Um, but if only I could sharpen them for you. Well, maybe next time I'm doing a knife sharpening stream, you can ask for some and get some tips or learn anything thing about sharpening them if you like. Much safer to have sharp knives, as long as you know that they're sharp. If you think it's dull and it is sharp, then you're in a bad situation. I'm just wiping some of the excess mineral oil because I can't pour um, on top of the blade, so maybe Give it a bit more lubrication. Oh, it's just so silky soft when you get to 3000 grit. Oh man, so good. Love how it sounds. Really getting a nice edge now. Okay. Hopefully I haven't rubbed too much grit on my face. to be it. Forgetting my rule about doing this with my gloved hand. All right, that's looking really nice. 
people like it. Now, if I have some leather here, which I just happen to have, I'm actually using that for a project though, so, well, yeah, I can use it still. I'm gonna try and imitate this. This is not scientific. I'm just trying to imitate this angle. This is some very rudimentary stropping. This is like not enough stropping to even say that I tried. It's just to entertain me. I'm gonna call it sharp. Should try and find some paper to do a uh, test with here. Sharpen it back on, or uh, tighten it back on, so that I can take it off of the jig. Good. So loosen this. And then we can wipe down the knife. I'm also going to wipe it down with a cleaner, cleaner uh, towel here. Very shiny. Looks nice. So let's see if we have some paper handy. Do a cut test. There we go. Definitely some paper in here. Okay. So let's see if we did this right. So, you really guys usually do it on the internet here. This is just a piece of printer paper with a printout of it on it on an old logo I was going to make or something. Oh, baby. So, here we can see we can just use the... Oh yeah, that is really sharp. So just to cool, wicked shop. Okay, that one's done. Gotta save some of our paper so we can do more tests, huh? Okay. Who's next? Should we do probably the paring knife? So this is just another cheap, this is just a cheap Costco paring knife. We've had it for years. You know, it does all right. Um, it is dull as hell. Actually, is it? Did I already sharpen this? No, I did not. I don't think. It feels pretty sharp. I might have already done this one and just forgot to bring it back upstairs. Let's try it. No, it is not, not sharp. Okay, good. So this is pretty small, so it might actually be a little tough to get in here the right way. Okay, 
is it even gonna tighten on here? Is it too little to clamp? That would be awful. Oh, there we go. Well, no, this thing might actually be too fine to actually clamp. That's frustrating. What happened? Is my jig having problems? That is really thin if that's the case. Shouldn't have that kind of problem. I'd be right frustrated if it is the case. I can see what happened between two layers. We'll see. You'll have to do the other knife just because this one doesn't even clamp. Yeah, look at that. I wasn't expecting that. I wonder if there's something wrong with this. Let me see if I can do this one. Yeah, that one should clamp. I guess we're doing this knife. Not quite as useful to do this one, but you know, whatever. This is just a random pocket knife. This is probably a... I can't even remember where I got this. I think I was a teenager. I bought it from like a junk store, basically, or like a army surplus store or something. Hard enough just getting the damn thing in here, huh? That's as tight as that goes. However, we have a problem. And that this is still a little wiggly. I think I need to employ a little bit of leather into this process. Let's see if I can get a scrap to cut up here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a little bit of a pad for this clamp. See if we can get like, this to tighten up a little bit. Because we don't want is this to be loose at all. That's really not, not cool. If this is loose, then it means that our angle can change as we flip sides. And that's where we get a lot of inconsistencies let alone the risk of it just like falling out and cutting me, which is no good either. Uh, well, I think the rest of the stream is going to be me troubleshooting this tool. So, um, yeah, let's get to take it apart. I think part of what's happening is that this whole thing has too much mineral oil on it. So I'm going to actually cap my mineral oil, put down the bottle, set this aside. Stick these up here, this.
I just wonder if I'm like putting too much pressure on this piece. Get up there. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, but you see the rubber has completely like worn off where it's clamping. So I think I need to get some other kind of like foam or something in that spot. Cause it's like definitely wearing away right there on both sides. I don't know if rubber is the best key, the best way, or if I should use oil or or sorry, leather or something like that. Can I? No, it doesn't look like I can get this pin out either. It's been crimped a little bit. Maybe I want to get that out though. I could uncrimp that. Just flatten it with a Dremel. It might be worth doing just to like totally flatten this out to get some new rubber in here. Well, I got that one kitchen knife done, which is like the biggest thing to do. Yeah, we're committed. We're going to get this out of here. So, um, the Dremel's over there. I do have some files. Maybe I'll just use a file. And I'm digging these tunes. I really like them a lot. They did a nice job with pretzel with this station. So I'm gonna grab one of these pots here. This is just some aluminum, so. I guess I don't need this glove on anymore. I'm not dealing with anything sharp. I'm gonna get a little bit of painter's tape to protect the side of this as I file it. Well, it's probably covered in mineral oil, so the painter's tape will do absolutely nothing. It's okay. Ain't no thing. But we can at least try to it. Try and do it the right way, you know? I'll just hold it in place. Man, that mineral oil sure does a number on adhesives. When I do stick the new pads on, I'm gonna have to use some of this like intense rubber cement that I got. Little ways to go yet. I'm 
And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some kind of vessel here. I need some more like little cups or something. Anyway, I'm going to soak this in some rubbing alcohol to get rid of the previous adhesive. I might need to do some acetone or something. I'm not sure, but we're going to replace this like filthy rubber stuff with something a little more robust. Uh, I'm thinking leather might be the way to go. But I think with that, I'm going to call it a stream. I know we're cutting a little short tonight, folks, but that's okay. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll be seeing you next time. Thanks.